To be completely honest, this movie was something of a letdown for me. I had heard really good things about it, and I was very excited to sit down and finally have the chance to watch it. But when I did, I was disappointed. Hello, and welcome back to another installment of Film Friday, in which I review a new film every single week. This week we're looking at the 2012 film Zero Dark Thirty, starring Jessica Chastain and Joel Egerton. As always, this will contain some spoilers, so consider yourself warned. Let's get into it. Now, it's not that this film was bad from a technical perspective. In fact, the cinematography was quite good, and very well done in certain parts, particularly with the end sequence, depicting the raid on Osama bin Laden's house. I thought they did that very well. Instead, I had more of an issue with the story. Of all the characters portrayed, there really was no one to root for. Now, perhaps that was the point of the movie. You know, what do humans become when they see other humans as evil others? And they have the ability to inflict pain on those evil others, and so they do so without any remorse. I do not have much knowledge of the facts of what went on during the hunt for Osama bin Laden, so this may have been an accurate depiction of what happened during that, which may have been the main, if not the sole point of the movie. But it was difficult to watch a three hour long movie without any glimmer of hope, or anyone to side with. Besides not being a very enjoyable experience, it was difficult to be immersed in or engaged by the story. You know, it is an interesting thing about films, that when you watch them, you want to find someone or something, some idea at the very least, to side with. And that motivates you to continue watching the movie. But when that is lacking, it seems as though the film has failed in some very major way. Of course, a film should seek to drive home a message, and that message may not be a comfortable one for the viewers to accept. But it is difficult to see how you can successfully drive home any message through your film if your audience is fundamentally struggling to connect to what they see portrayed. Instead, I think it would have been a much more successful endeavor if they had initially presented at least one character who you were rooting for, who you wanted to see succeed, only to watch them struggle and fail, corrupted by their own sins. The film would not have been any less bleak, but ultimately would have conveyed its message or achieved its goal much more efficiently. Overall, I would give this film a 5 out of 10. There were some redeeming elements of it, for sure, particularly the way in which the final sequence was shot, but overall, I found this film to be bleak and depressing, an overindulgence in human depravity and sadism. Thanks for watching, and be sure to comment your own thoughts below. And don't forget to subscribe for more movie reviews and commentary. Speaking of strike teams, I will be doing a review of the film Black Hawk Down sometime in the near future, so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that or any of the other reviews I have on the way.